Hi everyone, today's video is uh, from a comment that I received on my channel and Dave PSB says is it possible or does it even make sense to take a photo back to Lightroom after editing in Photoshop? I imagine there would be issues with the uh, bit depth. In other words, is, is, the it, it, is it the case that you must make sure you have done everything you will need to in Lightroom before editing to Photoshop because you can't go back to Lightroom? So basically the question is, can I move a photo between Lightroom and Photoshop without losing quality? The answer is yes. First of all, this technique was um, useful in the old, mainly in the old versions when you had Lightroom 5, for example, when you, uh, and no Photoshop CC. Why? Because in Lightroom, um, five, you can't have the possibility to merge more uh, multiple raw files into one file to create um, <clears throat> a panorama or an HDR file and then continue to edit it in, uh, in Lightroom. So you needed to export the photos to Photoshop, edit uh, the, the photos, create the panorama, uh, do some editings and then return to Lightroom without losing quality in the photo. But these days you ha you have two possibilities. You can merge the photos in Lightroom and by using the HDR option or the panorama option and then you can further edit the photo in Lightroom and then export it to Photoshop. But you can also use the camera raw filter in Photoshop. Now, why would you want to move a photo between Lightroom and Photoshop? For example, this is uh, this photo is resulted by merging more photos into um, into one HDR image but unfortunately the HDR engine generated this problem over here that it's pretty difficult to be solved just using Lightroom and for this reason I go to library right click edit in edit in Adobe Photoshop when you do this um, Lightroom will automatically export a TIFF file TIFF files have uh, lots of details and lots of information in it so I can't say that you are losing information so what we're going to do is clone this mess over here and then I will show you how to return to Lightroom okay now that we solved that problem let's say we want to continue to let, we want to continue the editing on this photo and for example there are things that are easier to do in um, with the controls that Lightroom offers. For example, increase the detail in shadows or drop down only the highlights. It's easier to do, to do these things in, in Lightroom. So if you have an older version of Lightroom and also an older version of Photoshop, you have the ability right now, if you open this photo with uh, a right click in Lightroom, just remember right click, edit in, edit in Photoshop. If you did this, you can now in Photoshop just hit Control W, close the photo, you save it, and it will automatically save and this image will appear in Lightroom. If you have a latest version, uh, the latest version of Photoshop, for example, and in this case it's Photoshop CC, you can merge these layers into a new layer that will contain all the modifications that were done on this file and then you can go filter and go camera raw filter and this camera raw filter applies to a to, uh, to that layer and you will not lose detail because um, the original image is a TIFF and you can go and drop down the highlights and increase the contrast and increase the shadows and use the controls that you have that you also have in Lightroom but now you use them with camera raw. So if you have the latest version, this is what you can do. And this is what I do right now. But let's say you don't have, uh, you don't have the latest version of Adobe CC, Adobe Photoshop CC, and you can't apply that filter. Now you may do different modifications on this photo. For example, just for the sake of it, let's apply gradient map and do a, a crazy green image just for the sake of it. Now I will hit Control W and now Photoshop will ask me do you want to save it? I hit yes. You see that it doesn't um, uh, pop up a window to ask me where to save it or something like this and if you go right now into Lightroom 
the image is over here and now you can go in develop mode and continue editing so this is the way you can um, move a photo from Lightroom to Photoshop and back in uh, to Lightroom and back to Photoshop of course if you want to further edit this in Photoshop and right click it in and edit in uh, Photoshop it will generate another TIFF file thanks uh, for watching I hope I've managed to answer your question and um, until next time keep on photographing because it's the only way that you can get better thanks for watching and bye bye